Okay, you've got the new Rode Wireless Pro, not Go, but Pro with the new 32-bit float recording. It is absolutely amazing. It's got the receiver, two transmitters, but what do you gotta do first? Well, you gotta install the app on your phone, which is in this video over here, and an app on your computer, which is also which is PC and Windows compatible. So let me show you what you got to do on the computer so that you can get this up and running. Main thing to do to get this software on is to go to road.com. Very importante. Once once there, you go to the apps right here. And in the apps there, you're going to have a selection. What you want to do is you want to go to this road central one. And while I'm here, I just want to say that you're probably going to want to get this road capture also, but don't do that yet and get this reporter app on your phone. But let's go to Road Central here and you'll see that it has a Mac and a Windows compatible one to get this on your system. And of course you want to get this one. Make sure to also install this Road Central app on your phone. So on your computer and on your phone. It's, it's really important so that you can like control a bunch of things. So let's do this now. Once you have it installed and you execute it, it's going to show a basic screen like this. And what's going on? You need to connect your Rode devices. So let's connect a, a USB cable to your USB-C on the actual Wireless Pro kit. Get the box with the receiver and the two mics in it. And on the back, you have a USB-C that you need to plug into. And you have this connected from your my iMac up here. And it's got to be connected to the back of this, to this, and you simply plug it in. So it basically is, you just go from your computer, USB, to a USB-C on the back of the kit for these things, and you plug it in. Once you do this, it's going to now immediately show up on your uh, Rode device. Don't worry about anything else. And see, all of a sudden, you just boom, there's the charging case, there's the Wireless Pro uh, receiver, and then there's transmitters and transmitters. So this RX and T two TXs that are right in the box, like yay. And you can see that in the box itself, it's actually blinking and doing a bunch of things, and it's actually showing that it's actually connected. So you you can legitimize that everything is working as it should. So what do you, what can you do now on this? Well, you can go through and take a look at things, make sure that number one, the firmware is up to date on the, cha on the case. Um, go through each item, the RX, you know, make sure that everything's up to date on firmware. So that's primary, that's the first thing I go through. And you just check it out for 1.3, 1.3. You can see it right from the snapshot, most important. But now you'll see all these other settings. Now the main one that everyone's talking about is the ability with Rode uh, to really control time code for when you're doing professional filming. You would just honestly switch that on and boom, it's going to you know, give you the capabilities of doing time code recording. Now the, all the other details in this, I'll go over in another video, but I just wanna say that if you want that, that's where this all begins with time code and having it sync properly to your camera and the filming that you're doing on professional sets or YouTube content creation and whatnot. I'm going to leave that on and uh, for now, and it's uh, I usually shoot at 24 or 30. It's all really dependent, right? And that's where these things are gonna come into play. Um, if you turn this off, it'll delete, just go turn it off and nothing will be uh, capable again. So what else do you got? I like to have my clock set correctly. It should sync with your computer. If that's not right, you'll you run through it. There's diagnostics you can do, but up here, you can actually, you know, control a lot of things. The game mode you can do for your headphones. Now that's pretty cool if you can't hear things properly when you're actually plugged in to the device with an auxiliary cable, a um, uh, little, uh, what do you call that? Little um, uh, mic, <laughs> the, the, the end of these three, three quarter or something like that. It's these guys right here on the end of your headphones, which we all miss <laughs> for phones that are creating Bluetooth. But I love being able to plug into these devices with a professional headset. So with regards to the game mode, there's ga there's also routing. Um, you can route these things, all these other things. Anyway, there's a lot of settings. You go into the actual wireless pro, you can see what's going on. You can change the, the different formats. Say you want to be an MP3 versus WAV. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I'm not going to get into that. 
and compatibility or in Premiere Pro or, you know, and whatnot, the sample rate, the bit depth. This one's important to do. Like if you don't need to use 32-bit float, don't. Just stick with 24-bit range and you'll be good to go. But 32 is a good thing in case you need more uh, range and bit depth to control anything that you need to clean up or, or um, hear more. So there's a lot of things here and there's all these different types of things that you can do on each of these to set. And that's really what I wanted to do in this video is to really take you over this so that you understand you got to get this first installed in your computer and then you can go from there to make sure that everything's clean and, and set up right for your YouTube studio, filming and whatever. Okay, thank you very much. And if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to subscribe and maybe check this video out too, because who knows, you might be interested in more stuff to do with um, wireless or filming. Be well. And